the link and I'm ready to get started. Hey Sarvin! Howdy howdy! <laughs> um, <laughs> I I named the stream uh what is it? Negger what is it? Hi Cynthia! <laughs> but I actually learned how to pronounce the name so if I go and look at the name uh let me take a look what's the name? The name is Nagarjanite. So I know how to pronounce it because I looked way too close at it <laughs> um, for the longest time. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> anyway, I can kind of get straight into it. I'm like all set up. I checked my Genshin audio, my levels are good. Um, the audio and the screen are working, and, 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 and the tweet is posted, and the reply is posted. I'm not missing anything, am I? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're good. Ah, damn. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Y'all are very funny. I know I should have made the, I should have made the thing higher. <laughs> also, for anybody who saw the tweeter, tweeter. Tweeter banner. Um, <laughs> yes, I was taking pictures. That was my picture. Anyway. I can't believe this, Seraphim. I can't believe this. <laughs> um, but yes, we have to do we have to do this question. I need to actually condense my resin real quick. Hi Maddie! Hi! I need to I need to I need to, I need to I need to, I need to uh, condense my resin. And I always do this in Inazuma because I love Inazuma. Um, but yeah, Avery's here too. Hi, Avery. Um, uh, yes, today is not the usual stream day, and despite that, I'm actually on time. Um, <laughs> but we're, we're we're gonna get straight into it. And um, this quest, there's this quest. Um, let me let me condense this and then show you. Uh, this recollector's path. It ends in two days. I cannot, I cannot do the prerequisite quest. Or, sorry, I can't do it because I haven't done the prerequisite quest. So I'm working on that today. And I may finish this tomorrow, depending on how far I'm able to make it. <laughs> Heavenly Denji, <Daddy>, hi! <laughs> on one time and no bell to compete with. I don't know, if he knows I'm streaming, he might pop in just to be able to donate because of like the 2,000 cap per stream. But anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Glad to hear. Awesome, awesome. How was everybody's day? Wait a second. Oh god, that's that's crazy. I like look up because I like I saw a notification. And it's like your community goal is seventy five percent of the way there. Damn! I did not think people wanted me to play Honkai, like, oh my gosh. We have to wait, how do we know this strange object is just gonna be here? Anyway. <laughs> oh, that found it! Paimon wonders what it is! Oh! Mysterious drum with a cryo marking on it. Oh! Uh, ah, oh, come on! This is no treasure! It's just an old tattered drum! We don't know what it could be used for either! Uh, let's say I brought it to like. I like, I like the antique seller. Ooh, that's right! Despite its rather shabby appearance, it might be still some kind of valuable antique. Doing good, except for the constant reminder that you have none of your favorite five stars. Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Okay, you save up. You don't spend. You try not to cry. You don't spend. <laughs> and then you wait for the banner that you want. <laughs> That's what I have to do. <laughs> 
they might be able to sell it for a good price at Rum Rum Royin Johns, right? I always struggle with like certain names. Like when they put two letters close to each other that I'm not used to. Anyway. <clears throat> hmm? Hold on. There's a note over here at the side. Might be good for some holding some clues. Oh. Nameless adventurer's notes. <clears throat> okay, that's it. This time, I have been commissioned to try and find a local order and obtain some information about something known as the Sign of Apausha. I must say that remuneration, remu, remuneration, remuneration, I don't know that word, wait, remuneration? What is remuneration? Remuner, remuneration. Huh, have I been saying it wrong? I've been saying it wrong this entire time. Anyway. <clears throat> Paimon 2.0. <laughs> Paimon's voice is actually really rather hard for me. Um, but I do my best. <laughs> um, Alright. I must say that remuneration seems quite outsized when compared to the mission content. I hope I won't get caught up in any trouble. <laughs> I reached the entrance to the Temer Mountains with the help of an Aramite mercenary, but he refused to continue onward, saying that this was the border of a war. Must be some sort of desert dweller superstition. Contrary to what I was told, it seems that these Nagurgenites are not very friendly to outsiders. Looks like I'll have to try infiltrating their ranks. Oh, I finally managed to make it out. Thankfully, these people are pretty civilized, so I managed to get away with my life. As I thought, these high remuneration commissions always have something fishy going on. Looks like an adventurer's work doesn't suit the people who just want to earn some quick mora. I'll just leave this drum here. Maybe someone will pick it up. That way, I guess I won't totally disappoint Miss Catherine. <laughs> are you referring to the Honkai Storyal game? Yes, maybe, I guess. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Lovely Paimon C. Huh, this seems to have been left by an adventurer. The sign of a power shop. Huh, Paimon's not super sure what this guy's talking about, but he sure is irresponsible leaving a commission unfinished just because it's hard. But since those things, since that's how things are, let's have this drama reading this Catherine and have her reassign someone to complete. Whatever commission this was. <laughs> well, how do you read that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, let's see. Um, got a note. These are the same notes. Yes. Uh, and then we have. Where is the drum? Drum, 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 drum. There it is. Mysterious drum. Cory Bantes. Vidana. Hmm. Okay. Well, we know the name of the drum now. I don't know how that helps us, but... <laughs> As... Ah! <laughs> uh, I... Okay, I don't... I'm very bad at, like, timing the ads. I realize you guys can't hear that yet, but anyway. <laughs> Where do we have to go next? Oh, Simaru... Catherine. Okay. Mm. I have to remember to bring a clear cup because the face tracking goes out whenever I take a sip in the, the not clear cup. But I have a clear cup on that side and not clear cup on that side. The only reason I keep drinking out this one is this one has sunny D in it. Now it has water. I'm gonna finish my sunny D first. <laughs> Hey there, how are your troubles? I'm, why am I reading? That's totally not how Catherine stuff. Anyway. <clears throat> Hello there, Kishko. How have your recent travels gone? They have gone quite well, thank you. I've heard about your previous adventures. It seems that you've become very experienced. As long as you keep going, I believe that you, it will only be a matter of time before you become a truly great adventurer. Hmm, speaking of adventures, we found this on one of ours. This is left by someone irresponsible. We thought we'd be bad. Oh, we thought we'd be bad if the commission he took never got resolved, so he brought it back here. And here is the drum again. Looks like it's from Inazuma. <clears throat> hmm, indeed. This
This item is a key to a particular commission. Thank you very much. The commission is linked. The commission linked to this drum is a very important one to the academia and is also crucial to the expansion of our operations. Unfortunately, though we have given this previously, though we have previously given this commission to various talented adventurers, they've all inevitably failed. Oh boy, here comes trouble. A commission from the academia. <laughs> Welcome back, Avery. Uh, well, this is an a issue that even the academia can't not resolve, so we did expect a relatively high failure rate. Actually, Paimon's kind of curious now. What's our commission business, anyway? Simply put, a recent star observation by researchers from the academia led to the discovery that the northern skies had become blocked by a strange, heretofore unseen phenomenon. Concerned that this would have a great impact on the accuracy of any astrological calculations, the Academia immediately put people together to investigate. This resulted in them delving into ancient records, within which they found mention of a strange phenomenon known as the sign of a Pausha, which bears strong similarities to the recent occurrence. According to these records, the celestial sign appeared after the disaster that engulfed most of Tevat 500 years ago. Although the circumstances of its eventual disappearance are unclear, its position has been determined to be near the Temer Mountains, the northernmost regions of the desert. However, that this area has only been ever sparsely populated. Even when the ancient desert realms were at their peak, they did not extend that far. After the cat and after the cataclysm 500 years ago, that place was one of the areas worst affected by the encroaching abyss due to it being connected to an ancient underground realm. Oh man, oh man, I see where this is going. Since then, <laughs> since then, it has been declared a restricted zone by the academia. The only people who still live there are a mysterious Darshan known by the academia as the Dinarjanites. Huh, a mysterious Darshan. The beginning you're calling it mysterious, Catherine, it's gotta be something super mysterious. Though they seem like legends to the average person, they were once a the academia, albeit one that split off 500 years ago. Then, the researchers who wished to fight the monsters from the abyss banded together and traveled to the depths of the desert, and the Gurjit and the Nagurjurite Nagarjur Knights, I always add an extra R, are an organization comprised of people who stayed there in the end. That said, it has been many years since, and they've branched off further and further from the academia. They even seem to develop their own academic traditions. It seems that they also worship a form of energy known as Kvarna. This energy communicates with them in the form of spirits. Well, I feel that I'm going off topic now. The academia believes that this faction, this faction is strongly related to the celestial sign. However, they have not been able to establish contact with this group, and as such, have commissioned the guild to assist in their investigations. This is a win-win situation for us as well. Ruins related to Kanria are located nearby, but exploration in that area has been declared taboo by the academia until now. If this commission is a success, perhaps we will be able to participate in future expeditions to those ruins. Since you have heard me say this much, why don't you take this commission on? You're just finding someone to step up to the plane, huh? Uh, I guess it's our business now, huh? <laughs> since since Kanria has evolved. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so, after all, that, it sounds like we just need to look for those whatever hates, right? Paimon, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> That's like, that would be pretty easy. We'll get some money from the academia, too. Yes, that drum you picked up was originally given by, to us by the academia to be used as a token of good faith in our dealings with the Nagarjanites. 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 Bah! Just give it to the organizations later. It stands to reason that they will have some way to solve this problem. I'll be leaving this task in your hands then. I've marked a rough position of the Timur Mountains for you. Ad Astra Abisask, Traveler, may you inscribe a new legend in the desert sands. Do not tell Bell I said that. Okay. I took the headphone off a little bit because <laughs> um, I wanted to be able to hear myself. But anyway. The rough area marks the exact location. Anyway. 
much sunny D, like two sips of sunny D are left. <laughs> Seely! Let's help the Seely home. Look at me getting distracted. How many minutes into stream? <laughs> oh. That must be the sign of a Pasha, huh? Huge hole with lots of horrid looking stuff oozing out of it. I did not get to read the rest of it. Hoyo really needs to fix that. Anyway, I'll read that. Can I just pick it up? Or do I have to read it? <clears throat> Nameless researcher's notes. Early this, early this morning, the Nagar Danites warned us to turn around and leave immediately, saying there was nothing to see in the northern desert. Some of our bodyguards are from the desert, and they've already been, and they're already beginning to waver. Superstitious lot. Captain Parshid plans to negotiate with their leaders, but will the Nagar, Danit Nagar Danites be amiable to a reason as we are? I don't think it's a good idea, but since he's already decided to go. Captain Parshid was wounded by a crossbow bolt, and some of his warriors also re returned severely wounded. All of our desert bodyguards are spoiling for the fight. The AR in the camp is heavy with danger. It is as I thought. It would not be so simple to make them see a reason. Captain Parshid's wound is becoming seriously infected. Perhaps the bolt was poisoned. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is a scary hella true. Scary. Are, are we really going to cross through? Are you going to, like, make me get his attention? Can we, like, not go that way? Dude. We're going to have to fight this guy now, you realize, right? Because, 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 because you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't just... Oh, okay. That was really close. I don't know how he didn't see me. Anyway. <laughs> where are you going? Where, where are you? Okay, we found it. We found it. <laughs> Okay, that's there. Okay, now I can go back and fight the hill trail you so desperately needed to point out to me, even though it is very blatantly blue across this backdrop of dark sand. Brown. Oh damn, he doesn't flinch very easily. How are you using anima without a vision? Don't. I actually wonder about the Abyss Mages too. They don't have visions. Genshin content on YouTube seem pretty dry. Wait, what do you mean? Like the official release stuff, or or just people the playthroughs and stuff? What do you mean? What do you mean? Huh? <laughs> They got some stars. Can I use the stars? I don't want to fight that. <laughs> There's a, like another guy I don't want to fight. Um, can I make it? Yes! Hmm. Fantastic. Lots of Aramite guards. I wonder if they're not guards and knights. Yeah. Bah. We finally have the pins cat I mentioned. The desert looks pretty different from what we've seen before. There's two crystals all over the place. Let's see if there's any camp sites nearby. Oh, look, there's someone over here. Damn, it's going so fast. Oh. Upload and quantity? I haven't been keeping up with the most recent uploads and stuff, but I'll take a look and I'll give you my opinion on that later. Yeah, I'm curious now. <laughs> Who are you? You guys don't look like tribes people of the desert. More like adventurers from a faraway land. I mean, he's, he's pretty on the head. <laughs> no matter who you are, this is as far as you'll get. Please go back. We've been commissioned to come here. Yeah. Commission? What commission? As far as I know, the Academia of the Rainforest has declared this area a restricted zone. Why would there be commissions? We were commissioned to investigate something up in the sky that looks like bad news. The sign of... What was it again? The sign of a Pausha. Wait, how come... How did you come to know its name? I mean, he kind of just said it, and we could have just been plain dumb. But anyway... Uh... Catherine of the Adventurer's Guild told us. Hang on a minute. 
Didn't you mention the current name just now? Since you know of the sign of Apausha, you must have heard of us. Shamania. Right? The Order of Skeptics. The desert past this point is a restricted zone under our guard. As a ranger of the Order of Skeptics, I cannot let you pass, no matter what reason you may have. Ranger? My apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Pyrho, a member of the Order of Skeptics in charge of guarding this place. Order of Skeptics? Pyrho remembers that Catherine told us that we were to look for the Nagar... Gen Nagar sites Or something? Ah, uh, looks like Pyrho is one of the ones we're looking for. The Gargenites. Hm. That's just a derogatory name that those guys in the rainforest have for us. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Lord Nagarjuna is a hero who fought against the Dev alongside the Divine Bird's heirs. We grant divine power through the right of Chinvat and put an end to the calamity. How dare they call us a great hero. And our first... Vina... I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta sound this out. Vijnanapati. Vijnanapati. Okay. And our first Vijnanap... Vijnanapati. By his given name. Wait. Why am I telling outsiders like this? Are... Are you two spies in the academia? We're here because we accepted the commission from the academia. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So the academia folks have been reduced to hiring some no-name adventurers to do their dirty work, eh? Cowards. Just like I thought. A lot of it is clickbait nowadays. No way Hoyo didn't do this. And it's just like, oh uh, yeah, so many things Supreme or Gems great. People be desperate. <laughs> Spend time on either Twitch or Discord. There. I mean, I wonder if you look at, like, fan-made content and, like, uh, on Hoyoverse itself, there's a bunch of good content. So, I mean, I lurk on there sometimes. I've been trying to do content, but, like, lately I... I think I was, like, two or three dialogue lines away from finishing posting my entire dialogue day by day. But anyway. <laughs> I thought they might send some mercenaries over at the worst. What an oversight on my part. Um, I might expect you to have such a strong opinion about the academia. Of course. Why, why does everything have so many names? Oh my god. Um, Lord Nasuriana. Nasuriana has said that we wouldn't have been reduced to the state if it weren't for them. Wait, so are you here to gather intelligence after all? Ugh, I've revealed more than I should. Anyway, please leave. This conversation continues. As unwilling as I might be to do so, I would have to end you. Uh, uh -huh. What? You're the one who couldn't resist flying? Why are you putting the blame onto us? Also, there's no need to be rash. All right, Kishiko, show Pyro the token that Catherine gave us. He'll know what's going on once he sees it. Token? This had better not be some trick. And we show him the mysterious cryodrome. Oh. <laughs> I will have to end you. Level 90, triple crowned wanderer, ready to resist you to death. <laughs> Loving it, absolutely. That would be step one. <laughs> yeah, I do actually, I, I very much enjoy it when people underestimate me, because like, when they're like, oh, the great traveler, how are you doing? How can I help you? I'm just like, um, uh, I, I don't know, where's the next quest at? <laughs> and like, when I get this, when I get this, I'm just like, I am this close to letting you realize that she should be like, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> like you'll 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 think some sort some some sort of god by the end of this exchange. But <laughs> what is this shabby drum? You call this token? Eh? Did Catherine mix things up? You guys don't think you can bribe me with such a small thing, do you? 
Leave now or things will get nasty. Don't you underestimate us skeptics. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you wanna fight? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Okay, he wants to fight. First blood. I didn't strike first. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stomp you to death. Oh my god, wait. Now, what kind of voice to give this little thing? This is so cute. <clears throat> Tainari around the corner of violence? <laughs> how can I help you? Not even realizing how you got into this particular occasion. <laughs> wait, you hate it? Wait, what? Should I give it an annoying voice then? Okay, wait. <clears throat> Should I give it a voice like this? Cease, I say, cease! Or like, Cease, I say, cease. Or, 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 or like, uh, 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 hmm. Cease, I say, cease. <laughs> what? Which one? One, two, or three? <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> one. Okay. <clears throat> cease, I say. Cease! Lady Sorosh, why did you... You didn't have to touch such trivial matters personally, let alone in front of these outsiders. We parry appear before whoever we wish, and our volition is not for you mere mortals to question. How dare you overstep your bounds! This little thing's about Paimon size, and the way she talks is kind of funny. What's Paimon calling lady in that reverend tone? <laughs> Your sins will be judged, but for the time of that has yet to come. The two of you over there, as envoys of the Academia, it is only polite to state your names first, no? Yeah, we should have introduced ourselves first, but that high and mighty attitude of yours is... My words and actions are not contrary to traditions of the principles of Pari. The same cannot be said for your nameless persons. <laughs> Okay, Seraphim, I heavily agree with this, 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 um, this judgment. We don't, this, this, <laughs> this is, like, what's, Lilapar, but, like, not as cringe <laughs> yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine, we're not nameless. Paimon is Paimon, and she's Kishiko. We're adventurers who came on a commission. I'm the one who's an adventure. We're here to look for the Order of the Skeptics. I need only know your names. Your other trivialities do not concern me. However, as for that drama... That item has a profound connection with this Pari, and is not something you mortals should possess. I command you present it to me immediately. No way! At least I'm nicer about it when you're asking someone for a favor! Besides, this item is important to our commission. We're to hand it to the leader, leader of this order of yours. If we give it to you and to fail to complete this commission, because of that, not only will you lose our reward, we might even have to pay more to the Adventurer's Guild. That's a huge loss! Reward, Mara, to think that you would risk your lives in a place fraught with peril for such frivolous reasons. Frivolous? Reasons. You know nothing of what transpires here. One mistake would send your race tumbling into an internal samsara, and yet you commit deeds that are beyond your comprehension. You humans are such an interesting kind. No matter, I shall bring you to the leader you speak of. This item would remain a worthy tribute, even if you should only present it to me after that meeting. That's more like it. Wait! That's not still right! We have to deal with the huge hole in the sky, and if we don't... Huge hole? You refer to the sign of a Pausha, then? And you wish to quell this calamity with mere mortal coils? <laughs> How presumptuous. It is the duty of us power to eradicate the sign of Pausha, and endeavor that I, Sarsh, shall give my all to accomplish. <laughs> 
See, like, how does she see the drum besides the other atrocities <laughs> in the traveler's inventory? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'm a bonk. I'm a bonk, Soros, with the drum. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> <clears throat> to quell this calamity, I must follow in the footsteps of the divine bird, Simark, and sacrifice everything that one might call Soros. To stand in my way is not a sin that one such as you may bear. Simmer. Foolish beings, have you not heard the divine bird, Simmer? She is the master of Kavarna, who once saved the land from destruction. Legend has it that it was she who split the infinite moats of Kavarna, Kvarna after her sacrifice, thus quelling the catastrophe. Ah, sure. But Paima doesn't think we'll need to sacrifice yourself. <laughs> In any case, this matter is far beyond your capabilities, and your inter intervention is futile. You must all you must do is bear silent witness as I transcend. You shall receive remuneration from this guild of yours so long as the calamity is quelled, will you not? Still, do not forget to extol my virtues and laud my accomplishments. After all, even the greatest hero should require mere mortals like you to sing of their deeds. Lord Lady Sorosh, the Vijnanapati has instructed us to forbid suspicious individuals from interfering before the ritual is completed. I have decided, and as a Pari, my word is law. Um. All right, follow me. I shall take you to the leader you spoke of. But gird yourselves all the same. That which lies ahead is not a place that human beings can easily set foot in. If you get lost or end up being eaten by some monster appearing out of nowhere, there should be nothing I can do for you. Ah, monster, what are you talking about? Yeah, I ain't a monster. She really talks a big game, huh? Bah, she's so annoying. She's not even all that large. Dum, 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 dum. Give me the drum. Oh, no. Bonk. Bonk. B <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this sword. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The path ahead has been open. We Pari must be regarded as one in body and mind of the land. Words of gratitude are not required. Bah. I like her better than Lila Par, though. <laughs> oh. What is going on here? Uh, Mona? <laughs> I, uh, I, I would do like Mona's voice a little bit younger sounding, I think, but I see I see it. I see it. The high and mighty, definitely. <laughs> oh, more. Okay. That's it, you get the ults. <sighs> Mona, Mona I can appreciate. Sorosh is driving me nuts. What do you mean, death? Aren't these just abyss mages and hill chats? To think that you would so easily defeat the rampaging death. Your strength is most radiant indeed. Consider me impressed. So, there is still quite the gap between you and Aspari. The sight of you fighting Valiant reminds me of those humans of legend who once fought alongside us. I decided then, you shall have the honor of being my Yasna Party. Yes, Party? Paima doesn't know a thing, so coming from you can't be anything good, really! Do not 
have such things amongst humans. Strategists, scribes, and the like. Those who exist to praise the heroes whose stories they exist in. Yeah. Neither of those jobs are what you just described. No matter how great the hero, their deeds must be recorded and sung of by others. If not the same fate that befell ancient heroes, must befall them also. Though they may have loved violence and conflict, great deeds are still great deeds and they deserve to be remembered. Wait a second, Dendro is best against Electro and Hydro. <laughs> we have technology. Nah. Nah. I don't need I don't need Dendro. <laughs> I mean, I personally just prefer fighting it with, with Pyro. Anyway. <laughs> I would like to bet right now current DPS will terrify you guys. Oh, who's who's your current DPS? Do tell, do tell. <clears throat> because there were no authors or poets to tell of their deeds, once all who lived in such times were gone, their works were forgotten to the last. I will not be like them. My great work shall shine so gloriously that the world itself will suffer great loss to not know of it. Thus, I shall now give you permission to record those deeds. Rejoice and give thanks, for it is this grace, not a grace that we... No, for this is not a grace that few receive from Aspari. Oh my gosh, what the fudge was their sentence structure, ready? Rejoice and give thanks, for is this not a grace that few receive from Aspari? This all sounds very complicated, but basically, you just need someone to tell you how awesome you are, right? <laughs> Couldn't you find a skeptic to help you out? Exactly. You have a whole fan club, you're fine. <laughs> Uh, Dendro is one of the top three most effective elements of the game. It is pretty effective. It is. It is. I just need to learn how to use it properly, because I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely not using it properly. Um, <laughs> physical Goro. Uh, what? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> the skeptics. I may admire their spirit, but other than their leader, who you mentioned previously, the rest are not fit for such work. They speak all day of how conflict is the true nature of this world, but they have themselves lost all ability to engage in such. None of them will be able to witness my sacrifice to the end. Whatever the case, it has been decided, but not. You shall be free to do as you please once I have sacrificed myself to restore the pure skies. Till then, you shall witness my valiant form. Well, sure. You and Paimon can't see it. Ooh. Paimon. Paimon. She looks pretty cute for her. <laughs> She's just the worst. And the way she goes on about us and we and such. There are others? Ugh. <laughs> it's making Paimon ill. Oh my. I have to follow her more. You know what? I'm not following you. I'm collecting morning flowers for Kabe because I like Kabe better. Anyway, there's so many here. I need so many of these things. So many. I also need to do the dendrite prosthesis. These turtles are so cute. I love them. Oh, look at the music is so cute too. I'm not gonna touch the water. Are we gonna open this, this chasm? The bath here is dotted with grey crystals. When I last left it, it was not yet so. Grey crystals? You mean the crystals we're seeing everywhere? Paimon's had her eye for a while now. What are they? Grey crystals.
crystals are remnants of the Black Fire's embers, proof that this land has suffered great calamity. Calamity, oh my. Indeed, I'm sure you've heard of the great catastrophe struck long ago, where the fire, dark fire, rose from beneath the earth and scorched the land. The dark fire opened a bottomless hollow in the land, and the demons of death that crawled through the gap nearly turned this into a lifeless realm. Though the gap was blocked by the great tree, the dark fire's filth spread like seeds and countless dark and painful memories released by the corruption began to lay down roots and sprout. This persisted till the honored lord of Carvana, Kwa Rena, the divine bird Sigmar, Simurg drank the primordial water left behind by our god before transforming herself into the Kavrana of all kinds and scattering across the land. From that day on, Kvarana has taken the divine bird's place in defending this land, and those painful memories that leaked out have been sealed by Kvarana. What was left are these ubiquitous grey crystals, though they seem not, no different from any other stone. They may contain objects that are yet to be purified. The grey crystals in the area have been increased of late. I suspect that this must have something to do with the sign of Apausha's dark power. But we must use Kvaran's might. We can get rid of these crystals. If my senses do not deceive me, a wand in Kvarana should be nearby. Let us look around. Wait, why is Amika Michael? <laughs> Uh, there should be one of them nearby. Oh, oh, I almost missed this. This this blends in quite well. Let's do some plunge damage. Let's go. Oh, Kavarina. Cool, cool. Very cute. The crystal melted. Well then, I did not mistake, did I? Kavarina wards the greatest stern. The cultivation grounds, the order of the skeptics just lies up ahead. There's a Siri! Oh. I'm gonna stomp him. What should I name him? <laughs> yeah, you should name him. You should name him Len. <laughs> that's that's the name, name nickname I've given him aside from uh, Kati, uh, Cockatiel. Cause, cause he, I mean he's technically supposed to be a wood pigeon, but the ahoge looks like a cockatiel or something. Is that just me? All right. What? I, I saw some morning flowers. A morning flower, I guess, down here. <laughs> it's a lot of mist. It's kind of spooky. It's a little spooky down here. Is this a gear? Oh man, it's a gear. Oh, there's a dendroculus. Cool, cool. Volcan the Volcan. Okay. Uh, okay, we go back up. Where were we? Back up here. Ah. There's a tent down here. Did, oh, you were down there. That's where we were. Okay. I'm getting lost already. <laughs> ah, investigate. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, okay. We're going this way. Have to touch the shinies. It is a requirement by law. All right, where's the ceiling? Okay, it's in there. And some of the dendroculus. Let's go. All right, where? Are we, where? Oh, I have to touch the shinies first. I'll be right there. To say another Dendroculus? No, just something just lit up on my map. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Wait, how deep was that? That's 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 a considerable way down. I must I must say that much. Oh, is this the leader? Or speaking of Oh Exquisite chest. I was expecting a common chest. I'm very pleased. And we have Dune Guy. It's a Dune Guy. Oh. Four Celia's. Oh, that's not a lot. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do a bunch. We talk to the leader. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, <clears throat> voice for this guy, let's see. Lady Sorosh, Kvaran is envoy, you have returned. Though it has taken much work on my part, the analysis of the documents regarding the right of Chinvar will soon be complete. According to my research, we need only collect the great songs of Kvarana next, and your great work may then be completed. Wait a moment, you two are... Do not fret. They are Kishko and Paimon, my nearly chosen Yastapati and his companion, there to witness my great work. Hey now, Paimon hasn't agreed to that yet. A Yastapati, you say? Though I will not question the most astute judgment of uh, your most astute judgment, I fear that allowing such ignorant outsiders into this land before the right of Chinvad is complete may have unforward. Untoward, untoward effects. Know that the people of the Academia surely do not desire the rite's completion. Speak no further. I have my reasons for doing this. Well then, take that drum before, from before out, Kishka and Paimon. We bring the drum out, as we. Koibantas. Koibantas, you say? <laughs> Yes, this is an important catalyst for the ritual needed to forge a laupa between ourselves and the Pari. I have searched many years for this, and to think it now comes to me. <laughs> this is indeed a good omen for my future plans. It would be good if the fates would also be with me when I lead the Order of Skeptics to throw down the Academia and burn their house of Dana, or whatever they call it, to the ground. Wow! What a way to casually paint yourself as a villain, huh? <laughs> villain? <laughs> the Academia are the true villains here. I have no doubt of that. Ah, I forgot my introductions. I am Nasejuna, the Vijnanapati of the Order of Skeptics who cultivate ourselves here. If you would use the terminology of the Academia, I'd be the equivalent of a sage. Well, that's pretty high up. But I doubt these pampered folk would care much for what we margins call ourselves. You don't look like much of what those academia might send. Oh, we're just passing adventurers. <laughs> Fair enough. Though in truth, it would not matter even if you were to be from that dreaded place. Even if the core of 30 were to be sent here, my plans could not be halted. Well, whatever your plans are, we didn't come here to stop them, that's for sure. Ha! So they would all say, treacherous louts from the academia. And when my guard is down, you would stab me in the back. Just like those people in funny masks who tried to skulk about and steal our academic tomes. They even dared attack our honored envoy of Kavrana. Kavrina, Lady Sorosh. <laughs> and they meant defeat at my hands, each one of them. Very impressive, Sorosh. <laughs> yes, of course, my ass potty. It is right that you should sing my praises. Do not look upon us some miserable few who inhabit the Temer Mountains. We once had such numbers that the desert north of Mount Damavad, Damavand would struggle to hold us. It is only because of our harsh environment and the slander and ostracism by the academia that have reduced us to this. If it were not for such sage souls as myself holding things together and the protection of the Kavrena, we skeptics would have been reduced to nothing long ago. Sounds like quite the disagreement, yeah. Kathleen said that you would have your differences, but looks like Paimon like you skeptics really hate the academia. You know what we dealt with? 
We dealt with desert dwellers who said the same exact thing. Maybe we can get along. Maybe... May maybe? <laughs> Say not hate, but rather that simply we cannot coexist. When I was young, I did not go there to learn in an attempt to mend our differences, but they... Oh, I did go there to learn in an attempt to mend our differences, but they treated me like an outsider. Though they feign politeness, be calling us the branch of, a branch of the academia, this is not but means to belittle us. It is said that our predecessors had a clash of ideals with them, and so chose to go into the desert to stand against the darkness themselves. From that day on, we've been holding firm in the war against defilement, defending our land. And what have those useless louses been doing in the meantime? Compared to those pampered pendants, we who combine thought, word, and deed are far better, deserve far more honor for our wisdom. Uh, Paimon doesn't quite get it. You need only understand that conflict is the true nature of this world. Kabarana and in purity, Dari and the true way, it is these struggles for supremacy that have kept the world alive, just as surely as the sky does. The sophists and their fancy darshans believe that the fates are all inscribed in the skies, and that this is supreme wisdom and truth. But look, skies reflect defilement itself. Surely their truth, then, is an imperfect thing. Eh. This logic does seem a tad messy, because perhaps nothing is truly perfect. Ah, you think thus. Then we might be friends. If time permits, we may discuss this issue in more detail. Hey, philosophy buddies, let's go! <laughs> Nasaria, this is not the time to talk about such things. Have you not seen how the great crystals hem in ever more tightly? If we do not extinguish the sign of Alpasha soon, things shall grow most perilous indeed. Well, speaking of sign... Right, that's right! We were tasked to fix this! <laughs> but after this talking, we don't know what we're supposed to do! Ha! <laughs> well, our plans also involve extinguishing that celestial mark. As for what it is, if it must be described as anything, let us call it the water's surface. The water's surface? Your explanation's just making things more confusing! The water's reflection, while an illusion, nonetheless hides the truth within itself. So it is within the skies. It's like a mirage, if you've seen those before. Well, that big hole up there is way scarier than any mirage! Well, it should be, for that celestial sign reflects an otherworldly hellscape. Long, long ago, Dari, Conria, built a facility here that connected them to the realms beyond. During the great disaster with the Cataclysm, um, which they said the Dari started. Monsters swarmed from that very facility into the nations of this world. The monsters tore open a great rift that came to be known as Tunigi Hollow, and though they were sealed away with the new vein of the ancient tree, this mysterious sign appeared along with that. What the sign reflects is that which lies beyond the dark rift, and though the monsters cannot enter Defad through that illusion, it nonetheless radiates corrupt energies. They say that our very first Vitnanapati extinguished that strange sign, together with the Pari. But as the power of impurity has strengthened over time, this ancient symbol has appeared once more. And should we leave it as be, who knows, that Hollow may truly re-emerge one day, and that ancient war will be reenacted. In truth, it may also be interesting to live such exciting times. Uh, I don't know about that. What? No! That would be interesting at all! It matters not. Simmer drank the Ar Amrita left behind by our god, transmuting herself into the limitless Kavrana. As the heirs to the divine bird, solving this problem is the mission that we Pari have. I, Sorosh, surely will leave behind a great work, enough to be her equal. <sighs> of course, of course. Kavrana's envoy, as we the Order of Skeptics, shall surely help you see your duty through. Ah, what's all this talk about a sacrifice? Is it really necessary to solve this problem? Well, in truth, I do not know. All documents regarding the sign of Owl Pasha have been long lost, and the traditions and rites surrounding it have also ceased to be passed down. 
If it had not been for me constantly looking up what documents were left, there might not have been anyone left to know that the right of Tinbad existed at all. According to my research, the Pari are descendants of Simar, and should therefore have the power to transform into Kavran to purify the land. And would you not say that grand sacrifice to save the world and the part of the Divine Bird's heirs is very much suited to our order's style? What? That, that's so haphazard! The sacrifice you're talking about doesn't sound like a small thing either! Aren't we thinking of other ways to solve this issue? I'm not sure there's gotta be an alternative, right? It's always been this way, hasn't it? I am very good after my job, after all. I already said that you need not interfere. Simply witnessing my sacrifice shall suffice. It is something worth celebrating that we parry to sacrifice our lives to purify the earth. Well, you see that, but... I would ask that you keep a respectful distance from that which you do not comprehend, outsiders. But since this is the case, well, I was planning to investigate the Tuniki Hollow to make preparations for the Rite of Tinbot anyway. Why don't you come along? I trust that you also wish to see the scars left behind by a fissure that once led beyond our world's bounds. When you see it, I believe you'll understand. Well, I thought it was kind of curious. A sad plan. In that case, I should lead the way. After all, you would find it impossible to freely traverse this land where Kavarana battles against impurity. My last party followed me to the end. Watch me as I complete my mission. <laughs> Pari are very mysterious creatures, and as the bloom guard of her race, Sorish can replace your characters and fly and move. When Sorish is in flight, your character will stay in place and await her return. Oh. While in flight, Sorish can ascend or descend, and can use the accelerate skill to increase her flight speed. Sorash cannot be too far away from your character, though. A bloom guard should never abandon others, after all. <laughs> Sorash can call upon special energies within items around which the mysterious mayflies dance. Press Sorash's interact skill to allow her to use power to guide the might of Kavrena. Hold her interact skill to cause her to stop and continuously channel Kavrena's might. During this time, you can control your character freely. Cool. As a Pari, Sorish can also perceive some things that might be beyond normal human sight. Cool. New Dia damage record, 22k! Holy! Are you in the spider of this? <laughs> Hail floater. Oh. Foolish is a spectre. Objection, objection! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. My sunny knee's gone! <laughs> no spiral abyss yet? Okay. I think you can you can boost the damage a little bit in spiral abyss. I forgot what the damage count was, but I will post my Mona damage in the high tiller circle in a bit, like after stream, because uh, I hit a record last, last season. It was pretty crazy. Uh, I'm very proud of it, so I'm gonna I'm show you guys. <laughs> um, okay. Du -du -du -du. Backpack. Is that the carrier? Put the carrier around now. Man. Aspires to become a balloon guard who shall quell calamity. Having formed a connection with one whom she trusts, Sora shall now traverse the defiled land alongside her Yasna party. Oh, hi. <laughs> She's cute, but holy moly, the attitude. Oh, it's doing like little cherry puddles. That's cool. <laughs> Need to find a new dedicated obscuring main? <laughs> nobody, nobody yet. You know, you know who's an underappreciated main? Bennett. I I almost always have been out on my team. <laughs> yes. Whoa. I totally wasn't here earlier or anything. <laughs> <clears throat> Overrated? Nah, 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 man. Love Bennett.
Who's underappreciated, Seraphim? Who? Who? <clears throat> uh, is that the pit the Tuniki Hollow you guys were talking about earlier? There's a super huge crystal all over the place. Oh, there's super huge crystals all over the place. Even bigger than the ones we saw before. You look scarier too. These are ones. Oh, that's not fine one. These are once huge trees used to seal and subdue the dark creatures, the dark depths. The power of defilement has corrupted them, warping them to the such forms you see now. Since the monsters have been sealed, it sure doesn't. Oh, this isn't Swords, this is Paimon talking. Since the monsters have been sealed, it sure doesn't look like anyone needs to sacrifice themselves again. HP skilling guard, nobody talks about. Candace! I've been meaning to raise Candace actually, <laughs> but I don't know what her her kit is like, so I don't I don't know how to play her just yet. But I do have her. That is why we must use the power of Kavanaugh to reopen the way. Wait, why are we Why are we reopening? Hey, wouldn't they just release all the monsters again? They took so much effort to do this here too. No, no. I mean, we just must open the path to the sign of Al Pasha. The way to the rift in the earth was sealed long ago. It can never lead to the true darkness again. But that is exactly why that sealed rift does indeed connect to the illusion of the abyss. We need only use the great songs of Karvana to stabilize the seal before initiating the rite of Chinba to pass through the darkness and reach the sign. The great songs of Karvana? Ah! These are the mightiest manifestations of the Karvana scattered throughout the world. We can use the great songs to initiate the Rite of Jinnabad. After that, we can open up a path of the darkness, just as legend holds that the first Vijnanapati, Nagardana, and the party did. That's all well and good, but what will we do once we reach the side of Sinusan? I do not know what happens after that. I have encountered legends that our first Vijnanapati, Nagarjuna, was lifted up to the heavens. We used divine power to extinguish the sign, but that, I feel, is a mere myth. I believe that Karvana's envoys will have some way. Since they can purify the defiling impurities, they must also have some way to extinguish the sign. Ha! Did Soros not also say that she wishes to imitate the sacrifice of Simmer? The world is built upon conflict and sacrifice, after all. <clears throat> well, that's what Sora says, sure. But that's... that's way too irresponsible of you. Oh, don't fret. Before the necessity of any sacrifice can be ascertained, we may s must still bring the great songs of Karavana together. At the moment, we have yet to even take the first step forward. Uh-huh. Seems the guy who's been talking the whole time. Well, basically, the only par who has been chosen by a Bloomguard can touch the Great Songs. But our current envoy, Lady Sorosh, has yet to obtain that right. Is that so? For all that bluster! You really heard all that, huh, Sorosh? You dare speak to me like that, Pale Floater? Well, Paimon isn't a Pale Floater! Only by obtaining the Twin Horn Chaplet. May she become a bloom guard, a being able to gather the power of Karvana. As such, she must first be acknowledged by Lady Zervan, the first parry. She is a mighty parry, who once fought alongside our ancestors. It is even said that she is the was the very parry who fought alongside the ancient heroes to subdue the embers of the abyss. But that elder of ours is utterly unreasonable. She refuses to acknowledge my dearest sire. I'm afraid there's no nothing I can do about that. Still, even without the Twin Horn Chaplet, my sacrifice will suffice to accomplish this deed. Of course, I do not intend to doubt your desire to sacrifice yourself this way. But if you are unable to perform the rite and pass through the Dark Hollow, your wish will not be fulfilled nonetheless. However, I do have a suggestion. Lady Sorosh called you her Yasapati, did she not? Why don't you go along with her to the Vorashka Oasis? 
That is where Lady Zerubon may be found. Perhaps Lady Zerubon may yet change her mind. Should she see that humans view Lady Sorosh as the predestined envoy. And, uh, why aren't, why aren't you going? <laughs> well, as for me, she would certainly look down a bookish man like me, considering her many years of experience. If she looked upon me, I doubt she'd ever change her mind again. <laughs> this is the only method that we have at present to change our current situation, so please, do go with Lady Sorosh to the sacred place protected by the Kavanaugh. You sneaky one. Looks like you're the only person coincidentally out of a job. Of course not. There is much I must do, for example. Preparations for the rite of Chinvat still must be done. I must also consult the words of the ancient scribes once more to ascertain the locations of the great songs. As for the quarry drum you brought, I believe I may now form a connection with the party who sleep at present once more. Their awakening is necessary for the rite of Chinvat to occur. Regardless, I leave the matter of the Twin Horns chaplet to you two. Once everything is complete, let us meet at the campsite upon the Tembri Mountains. Oh well. So, we have to look for that very elder, right? Well, let's hope she isn't as nasty as Sora she is. I sure hope so. Um, Kit is literally quick swapping characters, mostly Hydra and main DPS. You built her now terrified? Oh man. Wait, 203? 203 crit damage? That's insane. That's insane. Oh my gosh. But wait, what kind of art? Do you have like an artifact set or are you just are you just slapping all the top all the top ones on her? Because it's way harder to build a set. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Morishka Oasis. Here. I'm gonna go there. <clears throat> Here. Okay. Ooh. No set. I knew it. <laughs> you you get like really high high damage and stuff, but you gotta have that set bonus. It's hard though, I know. <laughs> Wait, Nymph Stream is... Which one? It's the cool... It's the cool Hydra one, right? This one? Yeah, Nymph Stream. <clears throat> I think they're so pretty. I don't know if this is better or worse for Tertaglia than... The... What do you call it? Not that... The Heart of the Depths. Currently, my set really sucks. Um, I I am in a constant battle with with the RNG for gar good artifacts. It's so bad, like unbelievably bad. I I am so close to just neglecting my artifacts completely. If it weren't for Bell constantly nagging me, I probably would not have built any of my character artifacts. <laughs> I just I'm just so mad at the grind. Can we, can, we can we touch this? Is this good? Is it just done? Whole thing using that uh, first hydro damage bonus. Absurd amount. Oh, I might have to keep grinding it then. Ah! What is this? I have to press G. Okay, burgeoning spirit. These tree vines have been snared and scattered cover enough. Sorish can use her power to extract this energy and channel it into the vines. Some tree vines have been affected by grey crystals and require additional Kavrana energy for their snare to be loosened. Okay. So, I have to take out Sorish. Oh! Descend. Wait. Control. Oh. Oh. 
I I am liking this a lot. Oh my god! There's stamina. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go down a little bit. Press E. Go down. E. Okay, I can only go in one direction at a time, I think. Oh, never mind. E. Oh! Oh! What else can I do? Oh, it does nothing if I do. Okay. How far can I go? Test of the distance. It is pretty damn far. <laughs> oh, long press E. Thank you, Maddie. Long press E. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, thank you. And they're such a cute little noise too. Oh, I've been in here once before. This is creepy. This is gonna win it. I don't like this. Trying to get Constellation 4? Oh. Oh. What's, what's, what's going on? What do I have to do? Plumes of Purifying Light. Plumes of Purifying Light are the fragments left behind by entities of Kavrana who have used to fall their strength. Only Pari, such as Sorosh, can retrieve them. Some plumes will flee as Sorosh approaches. She must successfully give trace to retrieve such plumes. Aw oh, man, things are gonna run from me! I guess that's what the dash is for. Anyway. Some other plumes will split into many leaves when Sorosh draws close. Collect all these leaves to retrieve and complete the plume. Okay. Stuck on floor 11. Felt. Felt. Oh. Oh. Whoa! The crystal here looks like... Could this be one of those wedding we've seen before? How did he get trapped here? Hmm. So you call these children the ancient dragon, the Wenard? Still, it does not have a sinful form. Perhaps it was merely unlucky to have been caught in the crossfire and sealed here. Well, maybe it's a good thing it's been sealed here. If not, it might just pop out of the ground and swallow us all in one go. I don't think you'd be very good to eat, Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Paimon's not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> hmm, you two certainly look like you get on well. Of course, with the best of buddies. But is it not also said that even inconstant companions would fail to notice if the other was spirited away by a sprite? These stories are quite common too, yes. Talking about Kishko would never do that. <laughs> I merely jest. If to you two are awesome buddies, surely some idle jokes will not move you. <laughs> we shall soon reach the Varoshka Oasis. Come, let's hurry. Oh, this is a Sorish thing, right? Bah. Hmm. Is this how they look now? How pathetic. Sorish, what are you talking about? Never mind. I just happened to witness the undignified states of my kind. No matter. We should keep going. You see? That makes Paimon even more curious. Let Paimon have a look. Ooh. Wow, this... That's really one strange tree. The way it's shaped like a circle almost looks like a door. Right? If we walk through it, it might lead somewhere. <laughs> Paimon would definitely like to go first. The Fravashi door trees are no doors. You'll disturb the residual party residing within them if you simply barge through them. So let's call the Fravashi tree, huh? But where are the residual party? Paimon can't see them at all. Of course, Payoflutter can't see them. They are still trapped by the obsessions of the past, after all. 
It may not be what they wished for, but looking at the sight of them clinging desperately to this world, how absurd and pathetic. They may, oh. They may look a little strange, but calling them pathetic is just mean. And looking at you being surrounded by so many plants, I might actually thought you'd feel at home. <laughs> I only feel at home when I'm on a battlefield. Only the battle lasting until the end of time can be perceived as true eternity. Now that you're following me, you'd better grasp that as early on as possible, Pale Floater. These Fabashi trees are Pari, after all. They fought to the end against the defilement that's been corrupting the land. Using the last remnant of their power, they transformed into the state that you see now. They exhausted their strength to the point where they could no longer maintain their form. They were rejected even by the Varashka Oasis for being tainted. Legend has it that in ancient times, the Order of the Skeptics would hold a trial ritual of purification for them so as to bring them all back to the Varashka Oasis. But nowadays, there remains... There remains no one in the Order of Skeptics who is able to perform... Oh. Oh, there remains no one in the Order of Skeptics who is able to perform such ritual. The best they can do is but keep these Ravashi trees alive. But this only prolongs their suffering. Judging by their current appearance, they seem to have nothing left but the bitter memories they have to endure alone. In a way, they've also fulfilled their mission, but it was all a meaningless act compared to a true sacrifice. So there is a way to save them! Can't you sleep in a supper and do it alone like this? You can? That makes you weak, Pale Floater. Being compassionate is indeed one of the great Simurgh's many noble qualities, but no one can survive here with merely a kind heart. Besides, for us Pari, to exhaust our strength in the final stand against evil is already the best ending one can dream of. I see no necessity to change anything. Ideas, you know? If Paimon was trapped here, Paimon would definitely want to go back home and be with everyone else. We Pari share such no such weaknesses. <laughs> Fine. Since even my Yastapati fancies so, I shall wake her up with my power and let you listen to her dimming voice. Doing spiral. Realistically, Count can 36 star. You, however, can't panic too much. No! Felt though. <laughs> Played 10, 6, 20. Still can't. 3 star. Oh. Oh, haven't played. So oh, man, that's been a while. Get back on Genshin. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna look her fin out real quick, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey! Mysterious plant created by a Pari who has used the last of their strength. The lingering Pari with memories of ancient days is contained within. Sorge can use her power to awaken the residual Pari inside the Fravashi trees. If the languishing obsessions of these spirits are extinguished, perhaps these Pari, thus scattered abroad, may yet meet again in the sea of flowers. Offer the plumes purifying light you obtain to the Fravashi trees the Amart um, Amrita pool and return all the memories of Karana Barat. Kavrena, back to the flowery sea. Oh my gosh, these words are killing me. Oh. <laughs> oh, so that's what these things are. Okay, I get it now. Oh man, he's been impaled. That looks painful. Uh, I can't really do anything about it though, so I apologize. A good way to find a dedicated main is by finding which element, yes, and then a playstyle, yes! Exactly, Maddie, exactly. Be 
beautiful, beautiful summary of like exactly how to find the best, most fun main. If I touch this, oh wait, I have to touch this with you. Oh my god. Fantastic. Uh, e. There we go. Uh, and there's another one somewhere, isn't there? Ah! One there. Did you have to give them to this thing? Is this like where I have to where I have to give them? talk to them as my character? Oh, yep. Ugh. First this is huge dogs, now it's a huge bugs. Please help me bring whoever's been left behind here. Um, party fragments. Uh, over here? I thought I found one. Oh, there they are. Those weren't there before. Executive decision to wait for Venti's banner. <gasps> a Venti appreciator? No way! We have same brain. Let's go. I can't deploy here? What do you mean? There we go. Okay. I figured it out. Where's the last one? Ah! I found two, right? Did I get three? Oh, there it is. I was like, I'm pretty sure I didn't get three. Do -do 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 -do. Dum -dum. E. Wanna main him? Oh! I. I am very glad, Seraphim. We are on the same brainwave. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you wanna you wanna see my venti? I'm gonna show you my venti. Uh, I had some somebody um, evaluate his artifacts. Uh, his name was Wrong Dave W uh, U or U W U, um, and he said my venti's artifacts are probably one of the best sets he's seen. I don't think so, but um, just to go over my venti, he is of course level 90, he's got refinement rank 5 on the best 4 star weapon because I did not get his 5 star weapon. Um, I hate weapon banners, uh, let's go weapon banner haters. <laughs> uh, artifacts, let me see the overall, I think I need to work on elemental. Just elemental stuff. Where is that? Elemental mastery. 700 is... That's a solid number, right? Hunter's path, ammo's bow. Ammo's bow? I don't know if ammo's bow is better or if something else is better. Probably ammo's bow is good, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Ammo's bow is on, on elemental damage, right? I don't have ammo's bow, so I don't know. R2 ammo's bow. Damn though. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna main him, definitely give him a five star weapon if you can. I literally, I don't think I have any five star bows. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have five star bows at all. So, I uh, I do what I can, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> let me take those off. Uh, anyway, Constellation, I very sadly do not have any Constellation, but I make up for it here. <laughs> uh, main DPS Venti for charge attacks, oh, oh, 
swipe on the pass to get the bow. I don't know, honestly, I don't know how impressive five star weapons are. Animal character failed. No! Gotta have Barbados! <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm going to be rolling on every single Venti banner without fail. He is my, he is my first banner five star. I don't know if he's my first five star, but he's the first five star I rolled for. Oh, achievements! Let's go! Don't have Kazuha either? Okay. Kazuha is a freaking beast. Kazuha, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Sort by characters owned. What? What is the default? I don't know what the default is. Um. Ascension phase? Characters owned. Okay. Well, I don't know. Did I get Dolip before Venti? 10, 18, 2020. 2021. If anybody sees a 2020. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Ching was later. Please, obviously later. 21. I'm just, I'm just like looking for any 20s. 22, 22. 22. Yeah, I think he's my first 5-star. Like, actually, ever. Holy! Let's go! Let's go! Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, then he's my first 5-star then. I was like, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not- I don't want to say that and then be wrong. Um... You don't want Kozuha? What? Make the game too easy, okay. Tell me the game is too easy after you 9 star. Floor 12. Good luck. <laughs> oh man. Hey, we got your stuff. Phew! Finally, I can take a break. Oh. 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 A plume of purifying light. <laughs> so you're just gonna take the thing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is? I don't know. I don't know why all, all of these marks are on my map. I'm getting so confused. Cleo's your first on banner, five star, first DPS, first triple crown. Ooh. I think Venti was my first triple crown, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, duh. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. I don't know how, how worth it, it is. I crowned him because obviously he's my favorite character. But in terms of like his auto, you're not gonna want to use his auto. He's really not meant to be a DPS. Like, really, really not meant to be a DPS. And ever since we nerfed him, I've been so pissed. But... There's not much I can do about it, you know? <laughs> Anywho. I feel like the newer characters are just gonna get higher base stats. There's enemies gonna be over there. Who I have to fight? Oh, hill of chills again? Hi! Oh, I thought I could chill. I guess not. <laughs> I was like, can I just stay here? They're not attacking me! Cool! Oh! Okay. <laughs> DPS Goro. Oh yeah. Okay. I would not. Uh, after hearing that, yeah, I'm not gonna doubt. I'm not gonna doubt you anymore, sir. <laughs> uh, can I? Can I do the? I would just like the base requirement is I need to be able to do. I have to complete it. Okay. Okay. Um. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Oh, another one. Yep, we can't just leave it be. We have a mission. What? We have a mission. Wow. There we go. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They remind me of, um... What is it? Celebi. Celebi. <laughs> Higher. What's up? 
What's up here? Why do I need to go higher? I don't think there's anything here. Ah. Okay, talk to this. Hey, I don't think we've met before. Are you um yes, Nakaji? If you could, would you mind bringing me the Adam Adambara pistols? It would bloom from where it cannot bloom. What? What do you mean? What? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> what? From where it cannot bloom? <gasps> Pale fire. Okay, I need to do, I need to do this. Navigate. Continue upward. I don't know if we can go upward anymore. Can we? Maybe I have to like leave this place? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Shiny celebrity. <laughs> Oh, wizard! And we gotta take out. Collect. Ah! There's blockage on the crystals. What if, what if, what if I got this thing? Oh. Wait, okay. I have to put it above, right? I have to put the. I can arrange where this thing goes. Whoa! Whoa! He's just standing there. Interesting. Dum -dum. Is the blockage still there? What if I put it like here? Coffee. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Z. Grab it now. Hey! Okie dokie, awesome. Is that the only one with blockage, please? Perfect. Bah. Okay, now what do I do? Oh. Did I, did I do that in like, the wrong order? Nothing happened when I collected all of them. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'll just leave you here. You can stay and do that. <laughs> top ten dating. Top ten ways to ditch Sorosh. Goodbye. Bye bye. No more Sorosh. Wild energy is oozing out of the huge gap. Coming from the opposing ooze. Let's go over and have a look. <laughs> After we collect this thing, I guess we have to call this... This guy. Uh, nothing has happened. Oh. Something happened. <laughs> go, 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 go! Oh, I was gonna say where to go. <laughs> Wait, can I use my power on these? Nope. I don't know what these do. Anyway. Where's the chest? I knew there was a chest somewhere. But where? I don't know. Oh! There's another thing to collect. There is no chest. I have made a mistake. Oh man. I need to stay focused on the quest. Uh, 220 meters away is 
too much. Too much. Run! Silly goose. Got him. Mina. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Benny? Um, <laughs> um, um, hmm, let's do the combo. Uh, you need a healer. Do you have Kokomi? And then... Nahida! I have Nahida as well, I just don't know how to use her right. The Niroda fruits are born by special plants that have been nourished by the Armrita. Their juices contain the same mysterious power. Press Sorish's interact skill to cause her to harvest Nirohada Nirodha fruits and gain the ability to throw them. She said yeet. Oh man. My stream is going out. Oh man. Okay, so let's let's, let's go back. Uh where is my there we go. Oh man. Stop Okay. Da 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 dum da dum restart adapter. Oh my gosh, Genshin's restarting. I'm restarting because my eyes are drooping, so I'm gonna just do that real quick. Rub my eyes real quick. Uh, I lost the guide thing. Oh, it's running away from me. Hi guys, I'm back. Two five stars you lack. Oh, damn. Okay, um, let me think. Um, so no. No Nahida. No. No no uh, Ah. Hmm. Sneko. Hmm. What? Well, I'm trying to think of five stars. My Hey Rubir, what's up? Welcome, welcome. 1130 to 7 I give that sleep schedule a D Anyway <laughs> Special plans ability to eat Stand against impurities Contain Amrita also melt special crystals cool where is the, where is the cost at? <clears throat> oh, there it is. Yeah, I might as well grab a chest on the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was new music for this region, like for fighting. Like I love the I love the fight tracks, but like I wish there was a new one. Like Ekonomia, Ekonomia has some sick soundtracks. Oh my gosh! So like, I'm very excited, and and the fact that like the city area, like you know the fra the rainforest, um has the same fight battle stuff as as uh, as the desert is I'm just like what? No no give them different music I think they sound slightly different but still uh, No surf him I can't believe this <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. I think Ruby up to up to that amount though. 
such a huge patch of green on the other end of the mountain. Oh, just the desert, too. How strange. Impressive, is it not? It is our homeland, after all. The homeland of the party? So there will be lots of other people like you here, right? Oh, uh, you know what? Paimon's not all that keen on going. Should you not be excited beyond words? The big tree stump looks like it's holding off some oozing out of that big hole. Oh my gosh. Holyo, please, the words. Oh my gosh. Harvest. You can't put that many consonants together. Stop, please. Harvest. Tokum. Tokum. Harvest. Harvest Tokum. <clears throat> that is the Harvest Top. Harvest Top. Talk. I can't say this word. Oh my god! Harvest. Harvest Pop. Har harvest. Harvest. Talkum. Harvest Talkum. Oh my god. That is the harvest Takum, the sacred form of the god that has granted us Pari life. It is such some large stump. That's a god? Well, we've seen other gods, but this is the first time we've seen one looking like that. That's because our god cannot be considered alive. Five hundred years ago, our god gave us they're all to quell the power of this disaster affected this place, but she was stained with corruption, could not be reborn into a purer plane, thus her divine consciousness continues to wander the mortal one. Our great god left us with the sanctified armor. Amrita, the lord of Verdure, caused the Haras Harev I am going to lose it. Um <laughs> The Lord of Verger caused the Harvest to grow from that, thus anchoring our god to this realm. The Vorosh Kasha oasis has been nurtured, nourished by the Armrita, and even the Karvana that defends this earth against gains its unending, unbending, and that's unending, unending power by the grace of Amrita. That is the harvest pokum harvest pokum I can say the word. <laughs> this is yeah, this is why this is why nobody voice acted this is because <laughs> it's too hard to say. But this god of yours doesn't look too well. She's been trying to hold on against this stuff coming out of the hole the entire time. Her power maintains the seal over the dark hollow. I fear that the emergence of this sign is due to the attraction of that evil power. If it were not for the presence of, I. If it were not for the presence of the Harvest Pactatum, I can't. Uh, harvisp. Harvisp Takum. Harvisp Takum. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what was I right about? What was I right about, <laughs> If it were not. For the presence of the Harris Ptokum, the defilement surging from force from that hollow would have been infected the entire would have infected the entire world. But it is also due to performing this duty that the tree has deteriorated so much. Since I got sleep, feel so energized, fucking bells on the walls. Yes, yes, we love, we love, we love to see it, Rupier. I am so glad to hear it. Fun, fantastic. I'm very proud of you, but like, get more sleep than that, because if you feel good now, imagine if you actually got the proper amount of sleep. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I do not believe that I could ever bear to be reduced to such a state. That is why I must leave a legacy of heroism behind for all to remember before it does happen. Well, never mind that. First, let's go look for the Zoroth person, shall we? Zervan. Zervan person, shall we? Harvesting tacos. <laughs> Avery, you're very funny. <laughs> if we get that chaplet and fix the sky real quick, that'll make your god feel all better too. 
I am struggling really hard with the Paimon voice right now. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> There's a bunch of sealies trapped somewhere. I don't know if it was here or somewhere nearby. But it was not awesome. good. And I wanted to rescue them and I could not rescue them. Because I had no idea how. So I'm gonna try that now. The music here is so nice though, like, listen, listen. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna fall asleep being here anyway. It's just mushrooms are around, I love it. Time to explore. With the power to fly! Is there another one? Yeah, I was like, there's another one up here, right? Come. Come. Oh, birds get scared of Sorosh too. That's interesting. There's a chest up there. What else can I see? This is actually really good for taking pictures, I realize. Can I take a picture from here? Oh my gosh, wait a second! Oh no, it doesn't hide Sorosh. Sorosh! You freaking photo bomber! I can't believe this. The potential for the the Oh my gosh! <sighs> the curse is broken! The curse is broken! I'll uh, get a break from work, if only. If only! <laughs> I love the atmospheric melody, right? Right? I'm so upset that I can't hide this, this freaking sass monster. Oh my gosh. Imagine being able to take, like... Oh, I can't go that high. Ah! <laughs> but anyway. Holyo, fix this! Holyo, please! <laughs> please! <laughs> oh, imagine imagine the, the different photos you could take like that. Oh my gosh. Damn! <laughs> I, I should have done that survey. I should have done that survey. Everybody, if you do your Genshin surveys, please ask them to when you hide the character to hide Sorosh in picture taking mode. <laughs> they don't listen to no one? No, they do listen if enough people say stuff. They do. They do. Y'all remember y'all remember when Zhongli was first released? You know how many people boycotted him? Because because his his damage was so absolute butt, it was so bad, and so they made it a bit better. It's still pretty it's still pretty bad, but it was it was like so bad. But like the community protested, so they listened. Okay, okay, okay. Get get over here. Get over here. Thank you. Pokemon that can't cam? Wait, what? Wait, do, can Pokemon, like, do camera? Are they able to hold a camera or something? I've never played Pokemon video games, so I would not know. Can you let go of the, the, the fruit, please? Thank you. Can I, like, open it? No, I don't think I can. I think it's part of the environment, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is. I was like, I'm looking for one of these. All right, Sarafim. I'm surprised you stuck around for as long as you did. It's usually bedtime by this time I start, so have an amazing night. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you. Did I get these already? I think I got these already. Never mind. I have to talk to the Zaru Zarulon person? I don't know. 
Yeah, I like you better. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, you guys, do you guys see the little monocle? Oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing. It's like a leaf, but it's a monocle at the same time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sorish, but you have competition. Holy. <laughs> Thank you, Rubier. Just mentioning because of the Sylvie like character. Couldn't take. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Oh, yeah. Well, if it isn't Sorish. Such a rare guest. It has been a while, Elder Servan. Elder? Well, if you can call me that, then you should po follow Pari norms and cease consorting with these humans whose hearts are heavy with ulterior motives. I haven't gone against our norms. I've only made contact with humanity to find a way to extinguish the sky fire, just as the Divine Bird did. And that is why you have learned that all the claptrap about sacrifice from the humans we power and care nothing for such foolishness. Isn't it our duty as Perry to sacrifice ourselves in the battle amongst the defiling impurity? Await the call of destiny, Sorish. Only humans rush in blindly. This destiny you speak of is a nebulous thing. I cannot simply wait. Uh, be expected to sit and wait for it. And that is precisely the danger. The chaplet you seek contains the highest authority over Kavrena. In giving it to you, I might as well be handing the power of Kavrena over to those untrustworthy humans. Can't you have just more faith in me, Elder? Ah, you too. Looks like we're being left out here, aren't we? Also, it seems like Swish loses that cocky attitude in front of Zerban, huh? <laughs> She's <laughs> all her hidden uh, uh, facets, facets, yes. That's a scary thought. Well then, little ones, you came with Sorosh, yes? This is not a place that ordinary humans may visit lightly. Let me see. Well, you certainly aren't from the order of skeptics. You may seem to be outlanders, in fact. Well, in matters of courtesy, I suppose you two shall introduce yourselves first. I don't ask humans for the names often, you know? And she's Kishko. We're... Uh, I guess, I guess we'll back Sorosh up here a little bit. Her... Yasnapat? How interesting. She might have had a little misunderstanding somewhere, though. <laughs> this is Forbidden Land of the Pari. The paradise nurtured, nourished by the Amrita, the shrine to which we pay reverence to our great god. Only heroes who have forged bonds with Pari, and pilgrims who have come to genuflect before our god may enter. I shall take it that you are Sorish's companions, then. <laughs> it has been several hundred years since humans last visited our sea of flowers. That said, we are... Aren't there tons of skeptics living outside the desert? Don't they know how to enter this place? Ha! I shall not permit such discourteous folk to enter our hidden realm. In the past, we Pari did indeed fight alongside their ancestors. We even lived here together. But many years have passed, and folly has grown strong amongst them. Even their traditional rites have begun utterly forgotten. None living amongst them can now forge a Lapa with the Pari. They should have been the ones to conduct a rite of Absar, for the tree that suppresses the dark hollow, thus cleansing it of filth that has stained it. Yes, the deterioration of the tree cannot be avoided, but had they not neglected the rite and caused the seal to weaken, this terrifying sign would never have reappeared so soon. 
by human tradition is unreliable in this fashion. Compared to them, you outlanders, blank slates as you are, certainly seem more dependable. Why that's not true, but actually praising or not? Well, we're here to... I would guess that you are here about the sign in the sky. I doubt that anyone would notice our little look if it were not for such a great crisis. We were commissioned to deal with this large hole, yeah! Oh my, oh my, so it is as I guessed. It seems that even after so long, the short-lived race is as short-sighted as ever. Still, if it were not that way, would you even need us, Par, to act on your behalf? Ah, looks like Par are pretty much nasty as a whole. Regardless, since human heroes have again graced our secret garden, it seems the gears of destiny have begun to turn once more. And you seem to be an interesting human, too. Ah, oh, that takes me back. Once upon a time, I, too, traveled alongside humans as curious as you to quell calamity. Perhaps you really might equal their great deeds. Well, then, it's decided. I shall give you a chance. We literally did nothing but stand here. <laughs> The two of you certainly seem more trustworthy than those blind and foolish skeptics. You only just menace, bro. Ah, uh, um... Elder, shouldn't you put your trust in me instead? Well, as for that, you do know where Ranj, Roshnu, and Mihir are, right? Go bring them here. They should still be enjoying their beauty sleep right now. They will serve as proof of your trustworthiness. I'll be able to give the chapter to you. Oh, Paimon knows! So this is the kind of seal where everyone needs to get together to break. And now we can get the chaplet, right? Ah, such an impoverished imagination. Wow! The freaking sass! Damn! The chaplet can be given to you at any time, but to resolve the issue of the sign of Al Pasha, we need their strength. Sorish alone will not be able to open the path through the Dark Hollow, not even with the chaplet. This, perhaps, is another example of the Rule of Three. Paimon doesn't really know what you're saying, but as long as I can get the chaplet, it's fine. Indeed, Kishko, Paimon, do help Sorish out, alright? I don't need help. <laughs> you're not very honest, Sorish. Not since your elder said so. Guess you just gotta listen to us. Well, let's go for ah. Uh, these pair names are Roshnu and Meher. Hmm. Last time we convened was many years ago. Now I know not if they're still as they were before. Okay. Did we finish? Nope. We can do quick start now, though. I don't want to do quick start though. How long is the quest? How long is the quest? I have not had time. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. Wait. Is there... What is what I have to complete now? Complete the quest. Awakening real sound. Awakening real sound is... Awakening real sound. Damn. I bet we have to do both of these, just being completely honest. Oh my god. Alright. Hopefully tomorrow is gonna be easy because... Or easier than normally is because I have to tell people to wear masks because policy got updated. <sighs> so I'm not gonna hopefully get as much sass as I usually get. <laughs> Alright. Go to there. I'm also just gonna talk to you. Even. <laughs> Did we find something interesting? What did we find? Oh, the Fromashi tree! Oh, where should I begin? What resides within such trees? Fragmented memories. Quite akin, in fact, to the plume of purifying light, which contains memories that cannot return to the earth. That sounds familiar. The Bija. 
It's created from our and our memories. So we know about them, yes. Unlike us, Aranara are born from the land. Born from the Varushka Oasis and returned there eventually. The god safeguarding this place rejected the flow of time throughout this land and so too are they. That said, this is also what they wish for. Only purpose is to keep the defilement from flying to the land along with them. Oh, already tired? Totally heading for bed. Alright Avery, thank you for stopping by! I hope you enjoyed yourself. You have an awesome night! <laughs> Did a good deed. Yes, we did. <laughs> you grow ever so haughty, pale floater. As if this were not all thanks to my great power. Well, you're pretty amazing too, Sorish. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wow. You wanted them or you don't want it? Well, do you want the compliments or you don't want the compliments? Like, make up your mind. Uh, 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 uh. uh, okay, that's entirely different. Yep. <laughs> Encounter one of the Fubashi trees. Bring, bring the plumes of light there. Yep. We're just cool like that. And now we have that quest in our logs, so it'll be there until I complete it and forever bothering me. Until I actually get around to it, so I will not forget about it. Anywho, <laughs> I was a little excited because I thought like be able to do transport. I was like, but you can't go too far away from you like spawn Sora Shin. That's a bit of a. A bit of a, a nerf, I guess. Uh, is there fruit hidden in here? Where is the fruit hidden? It should be somewhere. Where is the fruit? Is it higher? No. Is it in the rocks? Oh, there's a chest in the tree. That's crazy. But where? Where is the fruit? Is it underneath? Did I miss it? Is it just hiding underneath here? What the? What the? Oh, is it it's inside? Of course it is. Of course I have to do more. Of course. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. It's actually very relaxing. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, this though. I don't know. Where are the weird? Is that the weird fruit? Can I take the weird fruit? Okay, got this. I got it. And now I gotta. Oh. Got my package downstairs. <laughs> um, my dad, my dad brought it up to me. Oh, can I like? How do I? Cute. Cute. Oh, cool. It's just a rock. I feel severely underwhelmed. Oh man, it sucks forever. Ah. <sighs> Oh, those aren't crystal flies. I got excited. Man. Wait, are these mayflies? Can Sorish do something? Eh? Can I? Huh? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Why is this quest so long? Dum, 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 dum. I need to I need to do the Earth Dragon. There's like a whole new world boss. 
Whoa. Whoa! Wait, I turned into a mayfly. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off the ceiling as a mayfly. I don't even have to do anything. I'm just sitting and chilling and watching or listening, listening to the music. I like this. Oh, there's more of them. Ooh. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm enjoying my Mayfly experience. Oh. Man. Oh. Who are these sigils that can be affected by the power of Amrita and be moved? Move? This can be moved. Let's try that. Z. E. Um, where to put it? I would like to put it really high up. Or like, wherever that chest was. <laughs> but like, I feel like it should have a purpose. Why, why was I given this movable, movable teleport thingy? Um, I don't know, but let's just make my life easier and put it over here, I guess. D. And then, Z or E holding, um, I think Z just calls it back. That's so wacky. Oh! Two. Where is number three? <laughs> this is probably what it was for. Where is number three? Where is number three? Oh my gosh. I don't know where they are. Where is number three? Number three just up and disappeared. Let's see where number three went. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh, that's crazy. Oh no, they saw it coming. <laughs> I really thought I could shoot a Skarmouche, but anyway. I missed again. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm gonna make this one either, but this, this is where the teleport would have come in helpful. Three, two, one. Yeah! I don't need, I don't need the balls. <laughs> now, where does this other seal you lead to? Hello! I love the music so much. <laughs> oh, another Mayfly experience. I love this so much. I might, I might have another teapot theme I like. This is so chill, I love it. <laughs> you guys know, you guys know the name of the current theme I have in my teapot? I love it so much. Oh my gosh, there's another one. No! I'm gonna, I'm gonna casually ignore this. And, uh, wait, that's a precious chest. Oh man. <laughs> It's like I would I would love to stay up all night. <laughs> but like I don't know, because I got work tomorrow. Okay, time to watch where all of them go. Okay, that is not fair. That is not fair, guys. You can't go that high, that's not cool. That's twelve <laughs> seconds! Oh my god! There is no flipping way. 
<laughs> what is this? G. Power to cause them to transform. Oh! Okay. Well, that will help a lot. Let me do that before I have to start the challenge. Sorish, go! I choose you! I wonder if there's a time limit, but anyway. Should I break these? Surface? <gasps> Can I collect this as, as Sorish? <gasps> no! I can't believe this. My exploration skills have been... No! My plans have been thwarted! I can't... <sighs> That's annoying. I was I was very prepared for the ultimate Dendroculus collector, but I guess not. <laughs> Scouting only. I wonder if he can actually use her outside this area. I should have just gone back. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> huh? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe if I follow the Sealy, the Sealy will take me to um, a thing, like another hoop, and it will just take me through the Dendroculus. And we could have another chill, let's go, Mayfly journey. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I wish I was so damn tired. I love to shift the camera this way. Yeah, that's hella pretty. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I hurt all over because yesterday I was walking all over the place because I went I went out with my friends and today I carried my sister's very, very heavy backpack so like my back hurts a whole lot now and I'm just, I'm just, I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, but hopefully my day at work will be easier than usual tomorrow because I have less to worry about because policy is lightening up a bit so I'll see how tired but why the point over there? what's, what's this? oh! I love this I love this oh I don't get to- okay, I was like, I can just sit back, I'll- oh. <laughs> no. I have to do things. Man. At least I have four minutes to do it. Yes. I have to watch out now though, because I don't know- oh, it'll take me right to the Dendroculus, cool. Back up. I gotta get that Dendroculus. It is a requirement. Let me grab that. Okay. Okay. It has been successfully grabbed. Just fun. This is chill, which is perfect for my mood right now. Yes. And there's another hoop over here. I am like only halfway through with this one. There are so many little things to collect everywhere. Holy moly! 
I wonder how many primogens there are actually in this area total. Just from all the little puzzles. Another hoop! Not a mushroom! No, I missed the mushroom! No! Oh well. It be what it be, I guess. 58, 20 more particles, guys. What flower? Oh, they do look kind of special. Maybe Sora should recognize it. Oh. Oh, there's secrets about the flower. That's cool. We'll find those out another day. Ah! Boing. I have moved. Three, two, one. Yay! That's, that, that's good. That's, that's good. Lots of good vibes. Sunyata flowers. They grow in the sea of flowers and they're tended to by the Pari. When corrupted by the power of darkness, the Sunyata flowers turn back into buds. Use Soros to touch the Sunyata flowers to purify the corroded flowers and allow them to bloom again. Cool. Some Sunyata flowers with different colors have to be fully purified with a lime tilt within a time limit or a specific order to bloom. Of course they do. <laughs> Let's go find those flowers. Should I? Should I do that tonight? Mm, not. I will take these crystal flies though. And what's under here? Sorry. Ah! Bah. Oh! Oh! That's like the first time I've been rewarded for picking up what's under those. Because usually I pick them up and I get like rocks or something. Or yeah, nothing. So. There's that. <laughs> I'll find those flowers another day. I don't know where they went, so... It be what it be. Where is that quest? To go... Here. The rush new Ah It might be a little uh a little stuck <laughs> Oh oh our, our our researcher buddy beat us here What is he doing here? Oh is it different no it's the same Uh, the skeptics have been searching for the quarry drums, being important. Proper terms were not remembered, that is the essence. <laughs> Heresies and heterodoxies from the forest. Barsum and the quarry drums. Story time, is it? Joy. <laughs> This is no idle yarn to be told after tea, it is the tale of meeting with Pari, the sky of the divine bird, and the long years of war that have been endured in this land hereafter. Ah, uh, Paimon would prefer idle yarns in that case. <laughs> long ago, our predecessors worked to quell the disaster that occurred in the land, formed by a profound relationship or profound friendship with Pari. Barson's familiar had a presence preference for music, so we crafted quarry drums for her. During the ceremony, where the bonds with the parry made official, five drums were to be gathered and played in accordance with scores. Though the quarry drums were long lost, the drum scores have withstood the corrosion of the sandstorms. As you can see, they have almost been perfectly preserved. Words shall narrowly describe the true magnificence of that occasion. 
When the quarry drums sounded, all things reverberated in unison. It felt as if their sound could freely traverse space and time. Those who witnessed it were shaken to the core. Even the elements themselves were stirred. Sounds like a very lively time. It's a shame the skeptics failed to pass on this legacy, resulting in the loss of the quarry drums. However loudly we cried out, Bars and Familiar would never again utter a word in response. Bars and Familiar. Is this the Ranchu Sorish mentioned before? Is it who you're talking about? Why wouldn't you respond to the Order of the Skeptics' call? The Pari and the Order of Skeptics both value tradition and ceremony, so their routine is to our actions. They talk about tradition, but they lost the drums. It's hardly a peaceful land. Such things are bound to happen, so with little surprise. Oh, welcome back, Dingy! <laughs> uh... I've like given up on the voice acting just because it's a little late and my throat's a little sore, so I'm gonna stop and give myself a bit of a rest. But I'm good otherwise, but that's why. Thankfully, never given up searching for the lost drums, been gathering the relevant clues before our arrival. As one might have expected from you. There's no need to flatter me, after all. The Ar Arya Arya Deva had not. The who's the Arya Deva? Wah. Uh, my my apologies. I refer to an elder amongst the Order of the Skeptics who left for Sumeria City to work on his light novels, the giant things. This heavy responsibility would not have fallen to me otherwise. He became a light novelist? <laughs> he rambled on about how the warring against the Yai Publishing House editor and the opponents of the genius invocation of TCG should still be considered war. But if you ask me, he's just turning into a ridiculous old geezer. But he's still an elder who knows more about our heritage than I do, so I have to ask him for information regardless of any disagreements we might have. <laughs> he's reluctant to answer any questions that I don't that don't have to do with light novels and card games, though. It took me three whole questions to receive a single reply. Anyway, it took me a great deal of effort to gather clues about the quarry drums. Yay, new clues! But, Nessie not if you have the clues all along, why didn't you go look for the Lost Quarry Drums yourself? <laughs> That's an easy one to answer. It seems like you're not in the position of vision. That's right, I'm not. And yet, you're capable of bending the elements to your will. What an enviable gift. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with such a gift. So, it is good that you're here. I mean, we could save a whole lot of trouble for Lady Sorish with your help. Otherwise, I would have to make other arrangements. <laughs> but just as I said before, it seems that even fate is on my side. Lady Sorish and you two, please, come with me. Hidden treasures may be found closer than many may think. Alright, so we're going down the path. The music! <laughs> I gotta grab that. Let me grab that. Oop. I was that close enough. Oh. Are you running from me? Why are you running? Why are you running? Get back here. <laughs> okay. I forgot I can just exit out. Anyway. Okay. Go this way. Ah, I meant to press one. Anyway. <laughs> That's strange, there's no path here at all. Seems like you're not all that good of a guide, Nasajina. There are signs of a rock fall. You're observant indeed, honored envoy. I'm inclined to think that a monster activity caused the rocks to collapse and thus block this... Well, let's call it a path. But you may leave it to me, everyone. This problem only requires a little spark to resolve. Ah, yes, for safety concerns. But please stand back a bit. Nasajuna cleans up the stone crevice before putting a small package inside. He fills the gap back up, retreats to safe distance, and lights the fuse. The large rock blocking the way splinters into smaller pieces, and when the dust finally clears, a gray gate appears in its wake. <coughs> well, that's it for those stones blocking the way. Wait, there's still a gate in the way? It does seem quite sturdy. We used to be able to pass through. As for breaking the seal on this gray gate, 
We will need your help, you two. Well, guess that falls to us, huh? Oh. Gah! Why are the roof tiles here? Be careful! Those are echoes left from the battles fought so many years ago. Beach out. Go, go, go. Back to Rensu Cave. I hate corrosion so much. I work so hard to keep all of the HP of my characters at a nice, cool, perfect 100%. And the Rift Towns, they don't like that. I don't like Rift Towns. Three, three ticks, one, two ticks. That's gonna be one, two ticks. And then I'm gonna have to replenish the jellyfish again. Ah! <sighs> anyway. Let's, let's bring this little guy over to the Great Gate. I need to get a cushion. I have a cool I have a cool position I found I like, but like I need a cushion behind me. I'm gonna grab my pillow real quick. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> now that is comfort. Oh, this is so much better. <laughs> Seems like there's something buried beneath the sand piles here. Oh, yep, that does seem to be the case. Uh, can I use this during combat? Nope. I tried to pull Sora out. I'm like, Sorosh, you remember those bandits who single-handedly defeated that one time? Yeah, would you mind? I'm all tired, you know? <laughs> Found the corridor! Full of great crystals. We look around and then we find broken records. It's not too far from what I expected. The mechanism that has sealed the dendro drum was once here, but it's been destroyed. Oh. There are even some notes here that show when oh sorry, where the other quarry drums might be found. After scouring the land for days, they have finally found the quarry of ba Bantes? Yes, Quarry Bantes. Bantes? Anyway. Uh, alas, I lack the strength to retrieve them as such. I will record their locations here. There is no detailed information on the key contents of the ritual. I've drawn the following inferences from a comprehensive review of the current body of research. Firstly, the element of the Corybantes matches the element recorded on the drum score. This is obvious, and requires only, requires only a rudimentary understanding. Animal and geodrum drums do not exist. Damn. <laughs> the reason for this merits further investigation. Hi, Rio! Oh no, we are too close to that goal. No, 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 no. Welcome, welcome, Rio, and I guess, I guess. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> oh. Secondly, the meaning behind the notation. Notation may be divided into three categories. Empty, half full, full. The hypothesis is that the musical notes refer to these three types of rhythms, namely pause, light, and heavy. Thirdly, in order of reading, unable to be determined, if a lost quarry drum is found, one can try to read it in the usual order, which is from left to right and top to bottom. Okay. As the elders put it, when the quarry drums are lost in a single night, the order of skeptics was overcome with a great grief. Losing the drums meant losing the bridge that connected them to the bar so familiar, and from then on, the young were never again able to listen to her teachings, and this was a grave incident indeed. Great efforts were made by all to search for the drums thereafter, but few gains were made due to the obstruction posed by the defiled energies. According to the elders, this is the one of those old locations. But as you've seen, those without the power to combat the brute might of the defilement, and those who cannot wield the elements, as well as those who do not have obtained the, those who have not obtained the trust of Caravana's envoy are unable to reach this place. These names <laughs> Arya Deva also attempted to retrieve the Dendro drum here in his youth, but he did not succeed and has been silent about the matter ever since. 
A sense of responsibility, perhaps, or was it pride that closed his mouth? You know, when you said the Order of the Skeptics had a terrible relationship with the Academia, Paimon thought you'd just all stay here. Now that there's a big hole in the sky, never mind not coming back to help out, don't you think it's kind of weird that he's just over in Samara City writing novels and playing cards? Perhaps he can achieve in fantasies what he could not in reality? You mean writing the story of his failures into a light novel, but changing the ending? How's that supposed to solve any real life problem? Oh. I haven't been listening but here a while. Wait, what are you No, no, circuit, circuit, circuit. If you're if you are struggling with the internet, get out of here. You're fine. Thanks for popping in and saying hi though. <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to do, though? I'm not clear on that. Wait. Anyway. <laughs> People need hope, even if it isn't real. Uh, well, Paimon thinks that sticking to mother is our best chance of fixing the sky hole problem. It concerns Sorosh, too, after all. <laughs> You're concerned Paimon is rather wasted on one destined for so grand a sacrifice as I. Or perhaps I should say that evading the choices of fates others is, itself, an overly prideful act. Paimon's just... just... Nah, just help Paimon out here. We're to respect their wishes and wish them well. We're here to complete a... Mm, technically we're here to complete a commission, but, like, let's help them out. Aren't we also supposed to ask them to leave it to us? Yeah. I do thank you for your aid, of course, but do not forget I am the main character of this hymn. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Regardless, now that we know what the quarry drums are specifically, we need to retrieve them all. Of course we do. Although the trial has been destroyed, that may not be the other key that not may not be the case in other places. Whether or not they shall be of little issue, let us make that the task of my Yan Yasnapati. This should be no issue to someone of this caliber, no? Of course! We're professionals, you know? In that case, you can find the other quarry gems so long as you follow these notes. I'll leave that to the two of you. Good luck. We're gonna need it. <laughs> right. Remember to record the drum scores on the stone walls. We'll definitely need them all at some point. Do I have to, like, actually remember them? Or, like, is Paimon gonna put them in a notebook for me? Or... Oh my god. I just want to unlock this quest. Oh my god. There's so much to do. And I have two days. I might have to stream tomorrow too. And that's that's if you guys don't kill me with this hunk, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So little time. So little time. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I think I did some of these already. I, I kind of just wandered this area before doing the quest. So... I kind of just did a lot of this already. Alright. Time to, time to, time to clear the way. I need to read the music score. I have important work to do, and I don't have more than two days to do it. Okay, we- okay, awesome. We have notes, cool. This is literally just... Uh... Hit, 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 light? Question mark? I need to check. Real... wait, no, that was real circuit breaker circuit! No! No. Um. Anyway, where are the drums? I need to find out about the drums. I think those are rather recent. Soul bell. Uh. Childs. Memories. This. Farwick? Oh, this thing. Uh, what about... What about the... The core drum score? Oh! I was gonna say, I need the, I need the, I need the... Oh my gosh! 
But like, I need what? What do each of them stand for? Which one's heavy? Which one's heavy? Ah. Yeah, circuit could totally make it closer, but circuit would totally not make it closer, right? <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> Give me one more Genshin stream. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 wait. Wait. How many is it is it 25? I'm pretty sure it's 25. Am I psyching out? I hope I said it at 25. Who wants to come in? I'm sorry. I'm busy. I have work to do. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, can I take this and run? Cool. Okay, now you have to die. Both of you. Both of you hit me. I can't believe this. So rude. So rude. I literally I didn't I just walked up here and I just need I just needed the score. I just needed the score, and you kicked me. You kicked me, guys. Can't believe this. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Let's go over here. Are all of them the same? Are all... That's like... What? <gasps> A spin crystal. <gasps> Very happy. <laughs> yeah, there's like... It shoots me, kicks me. Ah! So we've chosen death, have we? I'll give it to ya! <laughs> Alright, if these guys wanna stay chill, I can be chill. But like, alright, they don't wanna be chill. I see. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that real quick. Bop. 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 Easy. This is the same score. Oh wait, no, this one's a little different. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is a medium. This is a light hit. This is a blank hit. Light hit. Heavy hit. Cool. Yes, Paimon, there is another one. It's crazy, right? Oh, no enemies here. Sweet. And this one is the same. How many more <laughs> How many more quests do I need to do? Oh my gosh. I should not have waited this long to do this event. No! And I earn primo I can earn primo gems from this, right? Yeah, I need to do this quest. <laughs> There's no crown. So like that's a little bit of a relief, but I might I might grind this during work. I don't wanna have to grind story quests during work. I like to hear everything. Then again, the voice lines aren't here. But I wasn't trying the music. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> uh, where? Where is the other? Okay, I'm glad I checked the map and d didn't just keep running because those are <laughs> those are really far away. I think it's down. Is it up? No, it's down. Cool. This is a wacky cave. What the? Those little like charms. It's so cute. Ah, I. Denka no yon. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ah. Okay, okay. Everybody chill out. Chill out. Let's... Let's... Let's not do this today. Hey. Let's not do this today. Stay in the tent. Just stay in the tent. You can, you can take a break. Lie down. Just, just chill out. Just chill out. What do you do? Why is this... Summon scorpion. Stop that. Hey. Hey, not cool. Get over here. If I defeat you, the scorpion also goes away. I don't want to attack the scorpion. I want to attack you. Because everything is solved. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I got a chest. I was just gonna pass through because, like, I didn't see that. Uh, where is the. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go 45 on. meters. Okay. Bright flame altars. Oh. Okay. Will it really be that easy? That's that's always the question. Flaming seeds are like candles in the wind. Okay. Play the sound. Oh, play the root in the right order. Okay. So like. Hit it like physically. I'll commence the trial. Okay. Have to light up all the altars. Oh, okay. Wait, where are the rest of the altars? I'm a little confused, but okay. This little fire thing is cute. Oh. There's seven altars. What? Where? Okay, I found them. One more. Well, not total, but I found one more. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, there's one. Okay. There's one. Oh. Three more. But where? <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm getting scared because like there's no time limit, but also like before the fire goes out, what does that mean? Oh, okay, found last one. Wait, second to last one. Damn. Oh, uh, is there one over there? I'm getting I'm getting confused. I'm getting lost. Oh no. Okay, there it is. Right? Okay, yeah. This one's the last one. Alright, now where's the corridor? Ooh. I like the overs, that's really nice. So who's great idea? Fantastic idea. Splendorous idea. Was it to hide the quarry drums so freaking far apart from each other? <laughs> As a pyro one. Cool. Vijnana. Um. Damn, it got hot in here really fast. 75 degrees. Guys, I'm not looking forward to the summer stream and holy. If it gets that hot that fast that quick, damn, I'm gonna be in for quite, quite awesome. the trial and tribulation this summer. Anywho, time to roll up the pants just dead, so I'm not as hot. And I'm gonna get stuck on that, aren't I? Am I gonna even be able to make it? Aha! Uh -huh. No. The answer is no. <laughs> okay, um, is there a better way to go about this? Not really. Huh. I gotta go like that way. So I'll X and then I'll climb the tower I guess. Maybe that will help. And I can use Scarbush to go up. <laughs> I wish you like at least like didn't lose stamina or didn't lose as much stamina when climbing on ladders, like what is the point of ladders in Genshin? Guys, anybody? <laughs> I might as well freaking fly up at this point. I can't believe this. Anywho, let's go back up. Dun 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 dun. Ah. Oh. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay. Alright, now how to get up there? I can probably just fly again. Let's take it one. Flight interval at all. Oh, it's a chest. That's cool. <laughs> One flight interval at a time. Cool. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna have to chase things off the platform for a second there. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the two other quarry drums and then call it a night. Because I do have work tomorrow, sadly. <sighs> Good, 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 good
I thought the moon was like funny shaped because it was like the silvery cloud. Ah! <laughs> On the top. Oh wait, it's a whole different cloud now. What? Celestia's spraying tricks on, on me, you guys. There is, oh my gosh, every time I look up, there's different clouds. Yes, that's a little, that's a little wacky. But anyway. It's not a lot of damage. Oh, it still worked. Right. Okay. 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 No. Hmm. How much should I bet? It's gonna be a different trial for each part. Oh wait, this isn't even the trial. What the? Lower. Lower. Oh my god. These guys terrify me. Let's take them out quick. 40,000? What the? What the? That's some pretty good damage. Is it in here somewhere? Yes. And we go further. Oh man. Oh man, it's getting spooky. It's getting spooky. There's a lot of gray rock thing, crystal, whatever they call it. Why is there a storm here? Paimon, I want to know the same thing. Craven. <laughs> hey, Paimon's not afraid. <laughs> sure, Paimon, sure. Commence the trial. Oh, man. Is it gonna be all Electra enemies? Imagine that. Imagine that. Oh, was that it? Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Bill saved me. Oh, okay, not that time. <laughs> oh, that was easy. And leave the quarry drum. And the last one is. Where? Oh, okay, over here. Oh, that looks like a nice, easy shot. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, root beer, root beer, root beer. Go to, go to, go to bed. Go to bed. I'm going to bed soon. That's not good for. That's not good because that means you're way past your bedtime. Nah, nah. You're fine, root beer. Literally, as soon as you said you have to head off, I'm like, good night, take care, and it's all good. It's all good. It's lower down. How how low is it? It's lower than this platform. It's below this platform. Oh my gosh. Hi, Sealy. I'm gonna get you later. And we go inside the cave. Is it more spooky? Please don't be more spooky. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, it's Hydro. This is... A little spooky. Oh, I see what we're gonna have to do. 
Aha. Okay. We cheat a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, did that bring the water level down? I think a little bit at least. Oh, oh, it's really clear water. Okay, I could have sworn it was gone. <laughs> what do you mean, root beer? No, you're fine. Good night. You said it. You said it. So stop feeling guilty. Go to bed. Scaramouche is an absolute cheat for this. Oh my gosh, easy. <laughs> the Cory Dungeon Beer by Cool Cool. Thank you, Root Beer. You too. Have a good night. Sleep well. I can't pick up the gorge under in combat! Y'all are gonna perish! Get together! <laughs> Easy. Oh, that's really pretty! Look, 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 let's get a little rainbow! Anyway. Hey, Kapostle? What? Okay, okay, and get. Oh, that's the battle pass. Did we finish? Okay, anyway, back to the quest. Root beer, root beer. Okay, okay, okay. Kokumi, root beer said hi. <laughs> I love Kokumi. Best you like. This is rainbow stuff too! Hoyo, oh, you're lazy! You literally reused the rainbow particle effects from Kokomi's jellyfish on the hydro bubbles. This is crazy, anyway. <sighs> anyway. Go to the giant tree. Let's see. Next, we just need to put the quarry drums back in their original places before performing the piece according to the scores on the stone walls, right? Sounds about right. Rushnu will definitely be happy to answer us once she hears her favorite music. And do excuse my presumption, but the ritual that is bound to the order of skeptics uh, to the parry is one of great significance. I think that it would only be proper for the order of skeptics regulation uh, if it's this Nenapati that is to say myself, which preside over it. Eh! But we were the ones who got all the five quarry drums! Even if you are a lady sorceress, yes, Napati, I believe this to be a little out of line, or should I call this prideful presumption upon her favor? Lady sorceress Kavrana's envoy, she may behave more amicably to the two of you on account of your aid in fulfilling her destined mission, yet this is but a manifestation of her virtue and not any credit of yours. Do not forget your place. Give praise and stand in awe of her every action as you should. Damn. Damn, he indulges her way too much. Uh, that's what you say. But even though Sorish always acts high and mighty, Paimon doesn't think she's all that great, or that distant from us. That does not sound like something that should be written in a hymn of a praise. <laughs> well, I'd say it's praise enough by Paimon's standards. Well, what about then you, your desire? Do you wish to play the quarry drums and awaken the familiar barsome for me? I'm not a bad performer. I've learned many a forest tune from the Arnara. Yep. We love music. Since Roshnu is someone who responds to the humans who call out using her the music of the quarry drum, she's definitely a music loving party too, huh? <laughs> Paimon wonders if she'll enjoy Arnara music too. The musical scores of the quarry drums cannot be compared to some forest ditties. Wow! We're. Excuse me, we're hating on the Arnara? Okay, I don't like this guy anymore. I was kind of like, oh, he's he's pretty reasonable, but now now I'm not so sure. Uh, 
You have merely understood the task of mere writing. It's the way I see it. He, as experienced as he is performing in the arts, not be a more reliable choice. Yeah, the principles are the same. There should be no problem. But... <sighs> no buts. <laughs> so I have decided, and so it shall be. Kishko shall do the deed. Well, if you say so, Sorosh, then just leave it to us. Just relax. You know, the Cory gems are very important. We're not gonna ruin them or anything. Don't, don't remind me, Rubir. Don't remind me. Yep. Yep. We just... Place. Place. Okay. Performance. Oh shoot, I forgot. I have to do the first one, I'm sorry. I need to look at the paper. Dump, dump. Uh, where are my papers? The scores. This is the first one, right? Uh, light, 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 heavy. Okay. Light. 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 Heavy. Oh, okay. I don't have to jump up on anything. I can just jump. Okay, cool. Dun, 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 dun. And this one is... Uh... Yes. The Hydro one. Uh, what number is this? Does, does it matter what order? If I try playing number two... Oh, it's the Hydro one. Okay, it is in order. Cool. Uh, this is light, heavy, light, heavy. So you begin the performance. Oh, you can check it. Damn, okay. Light. Heavy. Oh. What? Light. Heavy. Light. What? Check the score. Light, heavy. Oh, it's blank. That's my bad. Wait. Light, heavy, blank, heavy. Light. Heavy. Blank. Heavy. Nice. And this one. One. Check the drum score. Light, 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 heavy. Okay. Begin. Light. 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 And heavy. And then this one. Check the jump. Okay. Light, blank, light, heavy. Light, blank, light, heavy. And then this one. Down. Check the drum score. Uh. Light, blank, light, heavy. Again! Light. Blank. Light. And... Ah, heavy. <laughs> I missed it. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Eee! Look at how cute. Ah, Barzo's familiar has finally answered her call. She must be a Rashnu. Do you think she kind of looks, uh, tired, though? It's a Rashnu indeed, but perhaps you have a nice meal. Ooh. 
a repeat performance? Oh. A moving reunion after so many years is not gonna happen. <laughs> You're a Sorosh. I recognize you. That's right. This is my Yasna Party, Kishko, and his companion, Kish Paima. Ah, bah. And that is the Nasuria of the Order of Skeptics. Skeptics. Yasna Party. I do not wish to know about these human affairs. Humans and their drums are so noisy. I threw them into different places so I could sleep in peace. Wait, so this is all a misunderstanding? Even Paimon doesn't do that. How? But our documents recorded this so very clearly. Nor did Lady Sorosh say anything against this. He must have summoned too long here, Rashnu, muddling your memory on these affairs. Surely scattering the Corybantas was meant to select those who might clear the trials, but those who could not solve such a small problem, proving unfit to call themselves Yasnapati. For how could they aid me with my great work in extinguishing the sign of Al Pasha? The sign. <laughs> I'm so tired that this isn't the time to sleep. Yes, you see, Kishko truly deserves the title of Yasnapati. He has helped me immense. But hers all, uh, I'm, I'm like, should I use my own? Should I use Aether's? Anyway. Um, <laughs> their hope alone is not enough. Rashnu, I need yours as well. Ah, I get it. It is Zervan who... She, too, approves of me, of course. All right, Rashnu. Will you come with me to the Roshka Oasis? Hmm, is that impossible? <sighs> wow. These yawns are not fake. <laughs> Bar sounds familiar. Please wait. I have many queries regarding the skeptics' traditions. Human business. Later, perhaps. We can talk later. Perhaps after I... Sleep for a bit, maybe then. Uh. <laughs> Nas. Nasuriana. No. Nasuria. Nasuraya. Yes, Nasuraya. You. Don't you have other things to attend to? We can save your business with Rashnu for another day. Yes, I will turn to my camp to accomplish that which I should. You know, Paimon kind of feels bad for Nasajina right now. Uh, this is something we can't really mud into. Yeah, Nasajuna and Sorosh have known each other for a long time. They can settle stuff between them, can't they? Whatever the case. If you come with us to the Vroshka Oasis, Rashnu, Sorosh will be one step closer to getting the chaplet. Together now? Yeah. Let's go. Going with the humans? Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Did I complete enough quests for the for the thing to make sense? That's the wrong. I gotta do F five. Ah! There's more. Asipatravana Itahasa. Holy moly, these are long. Oh my gosh, we're back as Zervan! You're sassy as heck. But I like, I like your monocle. Ugh. Okay, yep, it's bedtime. Alright, so... How many more parts of this quest are there even? Okay, so we get the chaplet. And stuff. And then, and then we save the world again? <laughs> Maybe? Um, perhaps. Perhaps. I'll just leave it back there. Alright. I'm gonna end off here now. Um, just a reminder, you guys. Um, the opportunity to clip things from Community Game Week is dwindling just a bit. Uh, if this will load for me real quick. I'll be able to see. Um, 
It will... Okay, so TCG is going to expire in three days. Uh, Gang Beast is going to expire in four. Uh, Survival Shenanigans in Minecraft will expire in five. Dark Star will expire in six. And Hypixel Minecraft is going to expire in seven. So if you wanted to clip any moments from those clips to store on Twitch, uh, do so before they expire, but the, the VODs themselves will be posted on on YouTube for you guys to view whenever you like. Lots of really cool fond memories. Uh, but yeah. Aside from that, um, the only news I got is the OC drawing contest. So if you want to draw your your character in Hightail Cult Attire uh, and submit that in the thread in uh, fan art before, you know, before the end of May, I'll do a little slideshow and stuff. But let me see who's streaming, and then we can raid. I wonder if anybody is still alive at this point. <laughs> Tsukinako, let's go! Alright, you guys, you know the drill. Stay awesome, spread the positive chaos, and I hope to see you guys next time. That's probably going to be either tomorrow or Sunday. <laughs> Alright, time to, time to do this. Raid. Tsuki. Underscore nickel twelve. Uh, and let me just snooze this ad. Also, it doesn't interrupt us. All right, just a fair warning for y'all. Um, Tiki Nickel is meant for mature audiences, so do keep it in mind. Um, but otherwise, enjoy. Okay. I I bid y'all adieu. Bye 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 bye.